Well, both summer heat waves and summer storms can cause power outages and blackouts, pushing some of the country's biggest cities to the energy brink. One possible solution, the smart grid, now using commuter, computer and communication technology for the purpose of enhancing the electrical power delivery while minimizing the cost of electric energy to consumers. But what is a smart grid and smart grid idea? Well, joining us now this morning, we have Dr. Musad Amin, a professor from the University of Minnesota. And in New York is Rick Thompson, the president and CEO, uh, co-founder of Green Tech Media, an independent energy research firm. Uh, thank you both for being with us this morning. Dr. Amin, I want to start with you. If it's environmentally and ecologically beneficial, why hasn't a national grid been instituted? Good morning, Stephanie. Uh, it is because it's a huge undertaking. When you look at all of the aspects, this is the North American grid, according to National Academy of Engineering, is the greatest achievement of the 20th century. However, there are many, many stakeholders, public, private, and all sectors that are involved in it. When you look at the total system from energy source all the way through generation, over 15,000 generators in basically in our nation, 200. 15,000 miles of high voltage line, which is about 90 to 94% efficient on the grid side transmission. And then we have all the about 148 million consumers as part of that to change this infrastructure into a system to provide energy, to provide electron for the 21st century economy is a huge undertaking. All right, so Mr. Thompson, what are some of the pitfalls and challenges to the smart grid? Well, I mean, like uh, Dr. Amin said, it, it is a massive undertaking from a technology perspective. If you think about the build out of the internet that took, you know, and it's still going on 15 years, 20 years, uh, many of the same technologies that uh, the internet is used for communications are being applied to this uh, intelligent power grid. And um, with that, you've got, you know, standards of technology um, that are still being decided, technologies that are still coming out uh, in terms of development that are being deployed. So. Uh, I think technology is a huge, uh, you know, uh, issue. It's well understood, but it, it takes time. And I think the other main challenge that, that the industry faces is regulation. Um, mm -hmm. You know, each state has its own public utility commission, which regulates the uh, utilities that deliver power. And you have to uh, pass these programs and these projects through each state and regulatory commission. And how much is this going to cost, too? And who's going to have to pay for it? The, the total cost of the total cost of the system, there are ranges. According to Electric Power Research Institute, it costs about $165 billion spread over 20 years. So I had done the earlier work in that area, uh, assessing it anywhere between 10 to $13 billion for 10 years or longer. However, however, the range of cost according to other estimates uh, go up to even one and a half billion dollars. Yeah. Sorry, one and a half trillion dollars. But, uh, you know, Mr. Thompson, is it worth the money? Well, you know, I think there's uh, that's a, that's a big debate, and obviously the ratepayer will be um, you know incurring you know a, a, a part of this cost. But it, it, there's really not uh, an option when you start to think about what's happening. You know, what, Mr. Uh, Thompson, I'm sorry I have to interrupt you. We have hard breaks here. There's nothing I can do about it because we have to hit our local on the eight. Tell us what you think, Abrams and Metis at Weather.com or Twitter or Facebook. Our smart grid discussion one more time. Joining us, Dr. Musad Amin, a professor from the University of Minnesota. And also in New York is uh, Mr. Rick Thompson, who is a president and co-founder of Green Tech Media, an independent energy research firm. And Mr. Thompson, I wanted to be able you to finish your question here about, is this worth the money because the taxpayers are the ones that will be feeling it? Yeah, and I, I think the response I want to make is that I don't think there's a choice. When you start to think about renewable power, or solar power, wind power, um, the, the infrastructure of the grid has to be upgraded to support these types of renewable energy, to support electric vehicles. So um, it, it, it has to be worth it. I mean, now is the time and, and the technology is in place. And uh, Professor Amin, will the weather have any impact on the grid like it does now? Or would we be able to eliminate that? It will, but it will be a lot more localized. It depends on what level of currently the cost of outages to our economy are over $80 billion a year. We can reduce that to less than half of that amount if we even go about 70% of the grid
controlled by the smart grid technologies. All right, uh, Dr. Amin and also Mr. Thompson, thanks so much for being with us. We're going to continue this discussion on our Twitter and Facebook, and hopefully we'll check back with you guys in the coming months and years.